students here at Wayne State University will now have to find other plans for spring break. That's because the university is canceling their study abroad program for this semester. The coronavirus now impacting students with plans to study abroad at Wayne State University. Spring break study abroad canceled. The university sending seven action news a statement stating students will not be financially or academically impacted, announcing they will work with faculty to ensure students receive full credit. The statement reading this was a difficult decision, but one made with the best interest, safety and well-being of the students and faculty in mind. This announcement comes on the heels of new numbers from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services since January 31st. 357 people here in Michigan have been asked to quarantine themselves for a 14 day period. We're told many of those people had been to China or other countries where there has been an outbreak of the coronavirus or they've come back on cruise ships. The health department also saying many of those people are already out of quarantine and back to their daily lives. Now this outbreak is catching the eye of Governor Gretchen Whitmer. She will be giving an address from Lansing this morning at 8 a.m., updating people living in Michigan how the state is preparing amid coronavirus concerns. Now back here at Wayne State University, we are told any students with questions or concerns can go ahead and contact the Office of Study Abroad. Now, Ali, I think uh, one question a lot of people do have is what they should do if they believe they have either been exposed to or have the coronavirus. What steps should they take? Well, the really main thing here is if you've been to China recently or if you feel like you've had an interaction with someone who could have the coronavirus, go ahead and see your doctor. Your doctor should be coordinating with the Department of Michigan Department of Health and Human Services along with the CDC. They do have tests that people can take and results usually come back within four hours. Allie Hoxie, live for us at Wayne State University this morning. Thank you, Allie.